Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Day Walker from Just Go Backpacking, and my review today is on the Sawyer Mini. Boy, does this thing really hold its name. Look how small this thing is. It's two ounces of total weight. That's with the 16 ounce bag empty. Uh, the syringe for uh, backwashing, uh, flushing, I should say. Backwashing kind of sounds kind of gross. And the straw that if you need to uh, use for drinking. Um, I'm not going to go into a how-to because that's going to be later on in the video is the how-to. I did it while I was out on the AT this past year and uh, I'm going to go into on uh, how, to, how to use it. This right now is just real quick, you know, it's a uh, quick review on how, how it, when it worked. Uh, me and uh, I know uh, there's a, a, another guy in the group, uh, a mile back, he uses the Soya Mini. This, mine comes with a 16 ounce bag. They also have uh, 32 ounce bags. Uh, the great thing about this is, if you need extra, just order the bag. You don't even need to get the you know the whole setup. You just get another bag. Um, the whole setup right here, this whole setup, 20 bucks, fellas, at Walmart. All you have to do is go to Walmart, and you got a you got a water filtration system for nice, clean drinking water for 20 bucks. That's what I like about it. See, backpacking is, you can you don't have to break the bank. The most expensive thing I think I have in this backpack is the actual backpack. I think is the most expensive piece of gear that I bought was the actual backpack itself. Everything else, you know, you, you go online, you, you pick and choose, but the Soya Mini, I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. Another good thing about the Soya Mini is it fits on almost all uh, water bottles. Okay, that you get at the grocery store. I like using a smart water water bottle. I'm a big guy. I bring three liters of water with me when I do a, a, a hike. Um, and, you know, we do two, three-day hikes out there, you know, on the trail. And, uh, you know, you, I, I like to, I need my water. You know, I want to stay hydrated out there. You know, very easy because I don't show this on the video. You take your, there's only one side that actually has the threads on it. And you hook it up. Now, if I'm in a rush and I have to be on the go, I put this thing in the I put this thing in the water source, and I just hook this up, you know, and I can drink out of it. Or you just got to remember, though, people, once you put a a, a, a contaminated water source in your water bottle, that's it. You got to remember this water bottle now is contaminated. Another thing is, this thing kills 99.9 percent. I know, 99.9. .9. Nobody's going to say 100% is going to kill all, the, all, all bacteria out there. But 99.9, .9, I'm using it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it'll uh, take care of all bacteria such as uh, salmonella, E. coli, you know, Jadia you don't have to worry about with this thing. You know, it's, it's going to take care of it. Um, it says it takes about 30 seconds to filter water when you uh, hook it up to the bag. I'm going to tell you, to fill up about a liter and a half, it's going to take maybe one, one and a half minutes to do it. And let me tell you something. After you hiked for about, I don't know, what, 12 miles, you know, isn't it nice to just sit down by the water source, hook this thing up, and just filter through some water? You know, obviously, depending on your water source, uh, that's where, you know, the the difference in time comes in if you've got a dirtier water source, it might take longer to, fil to filter the water. If you've got a cleaner water source, it'll take less time. As you see, you'll see on the video, when I was out in the AT, the water was actually coming out of this thing nice and clear. It was a good water source, good flowing water. And it, it was just as I was hooking the bag up and tipped it upside down, the water was pouring out of it. Another cool thing is right here, you got a cap you know, that, that's attached to it. Don't lose the cap, you know, and it flips on and off. Um, one thing I want to tell people about is these bags, they're not very heavy duty. So you'll want to be careful when you're, when you're uh, filtering water not to break the bag, okay? And so actually let the filter do the job that it's meant to do is filter through the water. And as it's filtering... Then you can just shrink the bag up to make sure you get all the water out of it. 
but let the filter do the work because if you don't, you're going to break your bag. And if you only have one bag while you're on the trail, well, guess what? You're not filtering water unless one of your buddies is going to let you use theirs. So uh, that's the only thing about the bag, okay? I recommend to get another bag. I'm obviously going, I'm, do, I, I'm showing you one, which is a 16-ounce. I plan on getting a 32-ounce bag. Another cool thing about this water filtration system is you're done. You don't know where your next water source is. You fill your bags up. You put the cap that comes with the bag, and you put it in your backpack, and you have stored water. So say, you, you know, you might need water. You, you drank half this thing, three quarters of it or whatever, and you need some water. You know, you don't know where your next water source is. You got a couple filled bags. You stop filtering water, and you don't run out of water that way. Um, it gets you through the hike. And, uh, you know, we, let's be safe. Another cool thing about this thing, 20 bucks, fell. 20 bucks at, at Walmart. I mean, look at this. I mean, you got everything you need to survive out there when it comes to water, and it's only $20 at Walmart. Uh, a lot of people want to know how to store this thing. I'm going to tell you how to store this thing. I use a mesh bag. Mesh bag, it breathes. It has holes in it. you got to remember, this is water, you know, so you don't want to store it in a plastic bag where you can get mold and all that other stuff. You know, nothing's going to nothing's gonna grow inside this mesh bag. You know, you store it nicely in this mesh bag. Everything goes in there nicely, and there you go. You know, I usually tie off the top, and there it is. I got it all stored up. I'm ready to go, put it in my backpack, and I'm ready for uh, another day on the trail. Nice and easy. It's awesome. It's uh, it's It, it works great. I... I use it out in the trail. It's all I use. You don't have to break the bank to enjoy backpacking. Actually, the most expensive thing that I got is the actual backpack. And that's what. That's the most expensive piece of equipment that I bought. Twenty bucks. You get a whole filtration system. It works. It works great. It come with and, all its uh, maintenance instruction and everything. So don't worry. Get tied up with, uh, you know, how to maintain it and you know when when is it no good. This thing will filter like a hundred thousand gallons of water before this thing even starts to think about failing. And, you know, every once in a while, throw the syringe through it, you know, uh, backwash it a little bit, you know, and uh, do your typical, just like, you know, like anything else, do some typical maintenance on it. I'm going to shoot it down great. to myself now from the Appalachian Trail, and we're going to show you how to use this thing. The best way of doing this uh, video is actually doing it while I'm hiking. I use the Sawyer Mini system which isn't too bad. This is your filter here, and it comes with one bag, and then it comes with enough, a uh, couple couple other things here, to, a syringe so you can blow it out, blow out the system. You want to blow out the system every so often to just, you know, because obviously it's a filtration system, you want to keep it nice and clean. Um, I'm trying to get the syringe here, but my hands aren't working. There it is. I'll wash that when I get home. And what I do is, a lot of people, I've noticed uh, online people asking how they store it. All this is is a bug net. And uh, I bought it at Walmart, fairly cheap, about seven bucks. And uh, that's what I keep it in. Blow up the, uh, the bag, put it underneath your water, system, your water source, let it fill up. Take the end that has the thread, uh, threads on it. Thread it up. Now, from what I'm hearing is these bags can rip fairly easy. Just tip it upside down to whatever you're putting it in. And this is a good water source. I don't know if Ryan can get close enough. I mean, uh, you guys can get close enough, but see how it's filtering nice and easy. It's usually, if it's a dirty source, there's a lot of filtration that needs to be done. It'll take a little bit of time, but this is a nice, uh, nice spring. You know, um, earlier in the season, this thing was flowing a lot better than it is now. Uh, we're at the end of August, beginning of September, and uh, a lot of the water sources out here in the Massachusetts part of the AT have dried up. So, uh, and that's it. And you just don't pop the bag. And uh, that's about it. And that's what I use. The Soya Mini uh, fills up pretty good. So three of these bags to fill up a one and a half liter jug. People, if you have any questions on anything we reviewed, subscribe to our YouTube page. 
we'll answer any questions. Please send us a comment. Let us know how you're enjoying in our videos. And just remember, just go out there. It is so awesome to see the views. Just go out there and just go backpacking.